I'm in Nashville today to meet a friend of mine for lunch, and I thought I would stop by the Centennial Park. It's, it is a must-see place if you're in Nashville. Unfortunately, everybody wants to go down Broadway, they want to go down Second Avenue, they want to see all the honky-tonks, and they don't often get out here on the West End to Centennial Park. And Centennial Park has something really, really important and I'm gonna I'm I'm on the hunt for that today. I'm looking for that. And 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 I don't mean the Parthenon. What? You didn't know that Nashville had its own Parthenon? And as important as the suffragette monument is, or this particular monument to the man who secured the land here for the Centennial Park, it's still not the most important thing in the park. So let's keep looking. The most important thing, the absolute most important thing, is right over here. This is the most important thing. I had to wait about 30 minutes just to be able to video this little bit of a snippet about the most important thing in Centennial Park. Never take it for granted. Well, I hope you like the humor of today's video. Um, this is a shout out to Beth and Haley, who I worked with at Fulton. Um, this video was for you. I originally thought I would just concentrate on all of Centennial Park and the Parthenon, and then when I was looking at it on Google Maps to see what all was there, this park bench is actually on Google Maps. <laughs> and it's not like Taylor Swift put a bench in Centennial Park. Nashville put the bench there just in case she wanted a place to read. <laughs> That's about as close as I'm ever gonna to get to Taylor Swift. A couple of things about today's video. So I decided again against using music today. There was some wind noise and some birds and I decided to leave that in. I had to sort of pick and choose when I was recording a couple of places because there were several busloads of kids there they were, for the most part, unsupervised. <laughs> and they were wild. Um, so I was trying not to get all that noise in the video. However, I did discover, and I did not know this, but I did discover, since I can't find the Dead Cat cover for this microphone, there is, if I, if I long press the power button, it will go into an AI version of noise reduction. And so I did that today on the audio. And even though there's some wind noise, it was a lot less wind noise than normal. So I was very happy with how that microphone worked that way. So the other thing about this video is that I filmed everything in 60 frames per second. And that way I could slow some down to 30 frames per second and just get a little bit smoother, slower walk, or maybe the birds weren't, you know, quite as hyper. I like that, but I, I don't want to have to do the whole video in 60 frames per second. So I'm, I'm working on the editing part of that and how to make that work. But anyway, so today was a lot of fun. It was fun. Um, Centennial Park is right next to, or very close to, Vanderbilt University. 
Nashville has both a Centennial Park and a Bicentennial Park, and don't get the two confused. <laughs> the Bicentennial Park is over by the state capitol, and the Centennial Park is over by Vanderbilt. They're not far from each other, but they're not the same thing. And if you're ever in Nashville, I highly recommend that you take a tour through the Parthenon. It's really, really fascinating. Uh, and that's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you again tomorrow.